Hello. So today we're speaking to Jimmy Carberry, who is helping his niece to sell an impressive collection of shark jaws. Welcome. Good word. <laughs> so I was reading in the paper and I see your face and I see you um, holding one of these impressive shark jaws and I'm like, where the heck did he get these things? So reading the story, your brother passed away and this was his hobby, right? It was part, it was part of his collection. He, that's a, he did it for over 20 something years. And so he has 20 something years worth of shark jaws. Over 10,000 of them. Over 10,000. Now you said you knew that he was doing this, he was collecting them. Did you know to what extent? Everybody knew he collected them, but nobody knew to the extent he collected them. We knew he had a good pile of them, and that's all we knew. Y you've never seen any we before? Ne I never seen them until I went to Washington. Yeah, and so you went and boxes after boxes? Tote after tote, box after box, drawer after drawer. <laughs> They range anywhere from two inches all the way up to as big as this, 24, 30 inches. And what was your reaction? I couldn't believe it. Like, what is he doing with them? <laughs> and so, the only thing I could come up with was the fact he was collecting them and saving them because this was going to be his retirement. Okay, you think he was intending to sell them? Yeah, he okay. was going to sell them, but I think was gonna, this was going to be his retirement. He was waiting until he retired to start selling them off. Okay. That's what we believe. That's what we believe. Okay, so well, it's the same thing that you're trying to do right now. You're trying to help your niece right. sell these. Yeah, because she, she, she just wants to get rid of them. She has to get rid of them. There's too many. So what could you tell us about your brother in order for us to really understand the man who collected this collection? It, I don't know how he got started with it. Uh, he drove truck most of his life. He drove the East Coast and went to the West Coast. And he met his wife out in Washington. And that's mm -hmm. where he stayed on the West Coast. Okay. And he rolled over a couple of trucks, and they finally said, you can't drive anymore. I mean, he was collecting these over a period of time, even then when he's driving truck. And I guess after he couldn't drive truck, he went into bail bonds. Mm -hmm. and, then after, and then he also went into bounty hunting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, he lived a wild life. It was a wild life he was living. <laughs> and... Somewhere along the line, he started collecting all these. He collected over the years and kept importing them and everything. And you have, really, it ranges from as big as this. I, what, which one is this? Which one That's the Mako. That's the Mako. Yeah. Okay. It ranges from as big as this to the tiny little cute one. It's just behind you. I don't know if you can reach that. Yeah. This one here. It's a kite fin. Kite fin. Okay. Yeah. A little kite fin. Just as deadly, right? Which one is the top and which one is the bottom? And that actually goes there. This is actually the bottom. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. And they're loaded with teeth. They get the same thing. When they lose a tooth, another one comes up. And they are so sharp. Oh, yeah. They'll cut your fingers. So you're trying to sell these. Where are you selling these from? We sell them on eBay. Okay. You know, I got some on eBay. I got some on uh, Craigslist and stuff like that. You know, it's... They're kind of hard to sell because a lot of places they won't let you list them. Mm. You know, it's like any animal now, they don't, want not, they don't want anything listed. and So they're a little bit hard to sell them now compared to what they used to. Have you thought of donating them to a museum? Well, I've talked to her about it, but mm. there's, we're at the same point again. The, the collection is too big. Yes. It's 10,000 jaws. It's too big. You know, if it was a few hundred, I think they'd be gone by now. Yes. But 10,000 is so big that nobody, nobody's going to invest in that much. And you not only have sharks, you also have uh, uh, snake skins. I got snake skins. You have, what else do you have? Is it a shark skin? You do have that. I got the shark skins too. We're not too sure exactly what they are, but yeah. we, we have the shark skins. Okay. And we're not into, you'd have to almost get a magnifying glass on them to find out which ones they are. Yeah. Wow. So that one is not so rare, and you said that one is the... It's the tiger. It's the tiger. Okay. Yeah. And mean, do we know if it's a female or a male? Nah, we don't know about that one. We don't know about that one. We don't, that don't know one. about okay. that at all. <laughs> There's too many of them. It's like... Yeah. See, watch out. They're coming. Ooh. And this one, did we talk about... No, this one is different. Which one is this? That one's different. I'm much, this, is a, this is the bull shark. Bull shark. Oh it's a bull shark. All right. And you got these other nasty ones. These are 
sa oh. sand tigers. Actually, I think it goes this way. If I'm not mistaken. The sand tigers. And they get to see. They get the hook on them too for hooking. Absolutely. Like the makos. You you show me one. This I've never. This has no. This is the teeth. Yep. Those are actually the teeth. That's a bow bow mouth ray. Oh my God. And this you say because it eats grass. Huh? It, they, they eat it's like grass, grass plankton type stuff. It doesn't. Uh, it's not really a, a meat eater. Yeah. You just know, grinding those well, things. Well, these are like meat yeah. eaters and stuff, you know. So we do have vegetarian sharks, huh? Yeah. And the the, <laughs> the other one there has got the same thing. The, uh, the that's a Port Jackson. Mm. He's the same thing. He, very low teeth. You know, they don't eat the meat. It's after like weeds and plankton and stuff like that. Like I'm not very good. I don't. I'm not an expert on these things. If anything, I really hope this show is going to bring an expert in this to come and to help us understand what a jar like this could tell, could tell us what kind of fish this was, why the teeth are shaped like this. This yeah. is very intriguing. All right, so people should just be ready to call you to say, okay, I'm interested in this. I can sell what I got here. What's out in Washington, I can't sell right now. Okay. All right, all right. Because we're trying to we're trying to keep that all intact if we can right now. Okay. Okay. Because that we got an exact inventory of what's out there. All right. These we can sell off as they go. I got I got other jars that sell for like twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, silkies and uh, the other ones, uh, black tips, stuff like that. They're very common sharks. Okay. And they don't go for really a lot of money like makos. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's what people are after. They're after the big teeth is what they're after. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in to share your collection. I, I'm intrigued by it, and I'm really, as I said, I'm inviting uh, 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 an expert to come in to really help us understand, tell us the story of what we're seeing here. That would be very cool.